back in Studio K, and I'm joined by Time Room. What's up, y'all? Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Thank you for having us. Of course. Um, before we get started, I'd love a name and instrument introduction from everyone. Oh, yes. I am Ben, guitar, vocals, and sampler. My name is Kyle, and I play the bass. I'm Ian, and I play the drums. Amazing. So, we just heard Like a Dream, mm -hmm. Yeehaw, Saved, mm -hmm. 5, 6, 7, 8, but from what I know, working title, we, Working sort title, of. sort of, yeah. yeah. And then, as well as Untitled, <laughs> yes, <laughs> also New working song. title. Unrecorded. Yep. Unrecorded. It's probably the first time it was recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. That makes me Unless feel special. Unless you count like a, like a live video. <laughs> Like someone's cell phone, but yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah, iPhone, iPhone yeah. video. Um, well, as you mentioned to me, mm -hmm. um, the first four are all from your forthcoming EP, correct? Yes, we just got it mastered Whoa, last week. That's exciting. So hopefully we'll have a single or the whole thing out soon. Okay. Release dates, TBD. Sweet. I was going to say, yes. any any vision for the release date or it's just kind of up in the air um december 30th okay Bring in the new yeah year. i was gonna say happy new With year some new music <laughs> yes <laughs> well perfect um are you workshopping any names for the ep i know you said names is like not your favorite thing to yeah. come up with <laughs> we i think we might just call it like a dream Okay, perfect. Which is the first the first track that we played today. Cool. Title track. Sweet. Let's call it that. Amazing. Yeah. Um, any cover art you got cooking? We do have one my friend Sam made a collage that we're oh, cool. working with that we think we like. Yeah. No final decisions yet. Yeah. But I think we're gonna go with that. Yes. Yes. Ian <laughs> says yes. Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Um, so it is your newest release since your debut album, which came yes. out in 2022. Yes. Um, it's a whole new band. Whole I'm new the, band. I'm the only original member oh, left. Oh, wow. So it's kind of a, a new beginning of yeah. sorts. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so with that, how do you feel like the, the time room sound has changed since then with some member changes and just... With the passage of time. Yeah, we're a jam band now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we've got, we, we, we jam out. Um, <laughs> a little bit more than we used to. We used to, but oh, it's pretty similar. It's just an, an evolution of that kind of yeah. raw rock and roll sound. For sure. Um, we've got some synthesizers on these songs. Ooh. Yep. So be on the lookout for that. Yes, in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we. I just. I just think it's cool that we all have keyboard credits on the on the new EP forthcoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is fun. Well, and I was gonna ask too, like, what did you get to experiment with for the EP? Like, n new and fun things, production wise, instrument wise, all that good stuff. Yeah. Ian wants to take this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were lucky enough to record the EP in a space that had a lot of gear that I couldn't afford in my wildest <laughs> dreams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so got to play with um, Mellotrons and uh, tape yeah. echo units and stuff uh, yeah, to get space really echo. space echo mm -hmm. units. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, the jam section that we played today gets pretty involved on the recording. A lot of layers, a little cool. bit more psychedelic, I think, <laughs> than the live version. It's a little stripped down live. Yeah. But we just have to hire a keyboard player now. Yeah. We've done it to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you, speaking of, speaking of uh, psychedelic, I suppose, if you had to describe the EP using three colors mm. what would the colors be colors. so do i oh yeah you each get to pick one that's perfect we do at the same time no <laughs> <laughs> maybe not at the same I feel time like it's a little, there's a little metallic silver Ooh, in there okay 
Yeah, I was going to go with like kind of a a blue, maybe a metallic type blue. Mm. Brown. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Earth okay, tones. so we've got silver, metallic, blue, and brown. Yes. Okay. That's painting a picture for me. Good, good. I hope it's painting a picture for everyone who's listening as well. I hope mm-hmm. the anticipation better, is building. Yeah, they better be listening. <laughs> <laughs> they better. That's threatening. <laughs> um, all right. So, speaking of you know a kind of renewed life into the band, so to speak. How did you like? How did you find each other? How did you come to this new the universe formation? The universe. Wow. Um, you want the mic? Yo, talk into the mic. Talk into the mic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the universe brought us together. Um, <laughs> so we met. I used to work at a guitar store, Twin Town Guitars, mm. South Minneapolis. Famed. And, and my buddy Jesse worked there with you. And then I was going in to, you know, buy some strings and hobnob with the dudes at the shop. Mm-hmm. And and Riv was like, hey, have you met Ben yet? And I was like, no, I have not. Yeah. 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 Shout out, shout out, Jesse. Yeah. Jesse River. And then I answered, uh, Ben asked uh, Instagram for a drummer. <laughs> of course. And I knew him. Yeah. I knew you. Yeah. And, uh, and I said, I'll do it. Well, perfect. So the universe did bring you together yes. after all. Yes, <laughs> everything has led to this moment. Um, and just selfishly, I was wondering, how did the name Time Room come to be? Because we were kind of talking about mm. that before with the Time Tomb. <coughs> yeah, but I don't know obviously if I, should different I than just tell room. Should I just tell it or should I leave or it Or do you want to keep it a secret? I, I think it's up to you, Ben. Tell it. <laughs> okay, I'll just tell it. It won't be a mystery anymore. I just like I just used to really like that cartoon series adventure time Mm -hmm. you know classic Mm -hmm. classic classic cartoon Mm -hmm. and in in the show the time room Mm. is where prismo the wish master the the pink guy yeah it's the yellow room that he lives in in like one dimensional space you know okay in the show okay yeah he's like a kind of god deity of sorts yeah yeah I'm un- I'm unfamiliar so you should watch that show yeah I should I think everyone should yeah it's a classic it's it seems very wondrous. Too. Yeah, lots of gr- lots of great music in that show actually. True. Oh, lots really? Of great sounds. I didn't yeah. know that. It's cool. It's cool. Sweet. That's where it comes from. Awesome. Um, and like you said, you feel like your sound has gotten a little more jammy, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, what are the I feel like influences is kind of a hard word to use, but just like who are musicians and artists that you feel like you like a lot that kind of seep into your playing, Mm -hmm. whether it's like conscious or not, where do you, where do you find that you're drawn to? (laughs) I'll go first. (laughs) first. I'm wearing my, my King Crimson hat. Ooh, sweet. That's like my favorite band of all yeah, time. Yeah, that's a good pick. Um, Deer Hoof is another favorite mm-hmm. band of mine. Um, Devo. That mm. one is a big one. People always say that. Um, actually, I think Jesse, our friend Jesse said to me, we kind of sound like Devo fronted by Steve Albini. <laughs> so we're sort of like shellac meets Devo, noise rock, that's, new wave. That's awesome. So I think, I think is kind of a... I like subconsciously knew that's like, kind of what I was doing, but once yeah. I kind of said it at one of our shows, I was like, so that's like my elevator pitch now. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's your band sound like? That's what I say. <laughs> Shellac meets Devo. That's perfect, I think. Yeah. I mean, I also think that everybody in this band likes Rush, either secretly mm. or not secretly. Ian's, <laughs> Ian's shaking their head right now, but I feel like when we get in the practice space, <laughs> story is slightly different, but yeah. you know, it's not for me to say for sure, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can only speculate. Yeah. Ian. Ian's sitting this one out. Cool. We'll leave it. Yeah, we covered it. <laughs> leave it be. <laughs> leave it be. Um, so how does your songwriting process usually go? Like, do you just all kind of get together and you hang out and jam? Or is it like someone comes forward and they're like, I have an idea we, for we this thing? We wrote that one song together. 
a new one we wrote together in the practice space. Most of it I will like write in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I'll just like record like a demo, program some drums. It's probably like, you know, 70% done usually. Mm -hmm. And then I'll like send it to the band and then we'll meet at the practice space and kind of jam on it Mm -hmm. and then kind of finish it live. Kind of seems mostly how it's been going so far. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Um, If you had to create some kind of mascot creature for time room what do you think said creature would look like any thoughts <laughs> ian's got an idea um i was i just took a trip to scotland recently mm-hmm. and they have a um a jackalope type uh, mythical creature uh, called a haggis um and it's like a little furry um creepy little fur ball creature <laughs> um kind of like a mix of an armadillo with a um if it had a lot of hair on its body <laughs> okay instead okay. of a shell um and weird little eyes and yeah. teeth yeah i'd say probably a haggis yeah did you see one when you were there yeah <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with that. That sounds that perfect. Sounds, I don't know what that looks like, but no, I'll look I'm it trying up. to. I'm trying yeah, to envision <laughs> this creature, and that description is is wild. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I was just saying that kind of describes the band. You kind of don't know what you look you mm. look like until you see us. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of a mystery. And then you realize we all look the exact same. <laughs> We're actually all cousins. <laughs> it's poetic. <laughs> um. Okay, so because we are in our lovely home of Minneapolis, I'd love to know what to you is special about being able to be a part of the Minneapolis like music community. I feel mm-hmm. like everyone I talk to just says that there's something like a little bit intangible about what brings people together here who all play music so i'd love to know sort of your perspective on that sure one thing i love about minneapolis is that it's kind of like a pretty close-knit scene it's pretty easy to kind of if you start going to shows start playing in bands you kind of get to know a lot of people really really quick and everyone here kind of just like doing what they love a lot of you know weirdos doing their own thing um yeah Yeah, I mean, I was just going to say that just like from, you know, we, we went out on the road last summer and we've played some out of town shows and I just feel like the scene in Minneapolis is really unique. And I feel like until you kind of <clears throat> experience it, you don't necessarily realize like how, um, I don't want to say like easy, but just like how, yeah, how connected everybody is here and how the scene here seems like really special, mm-hmm. even in comparison to like other towns and even like bigger towns like you know chicago and places like that the scene here is really it's really a jewel yeah there's a lot of really really great individual players in this city like people are really really good at their instruments in in a lot of unique ways i feel like that is kind of lost in another in in other cities where a lot of people a lot of the jazz guys play the same kind of jazz or a lot of the rock guys play the same kind of rock and everyone in Minneapolis kind of has a, a self taught Mm -hmm. edge to their music, even if that's not the case, I think, um, best drummers in, in the country are from here, I think, um, in particular. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's, um, small enough where it's like, if you want to start playing shows, it's kind of easier to book shows. Mm -hmm. A lot of like bigger cities, you'll have to like, you know, book it way out in advance, but here there's a bunch of small little spots and a lot of, a lot of cool DIY stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. That's pretty easy to get started too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's still that kind of like DIY ethos and passion for a city that Mm -hmm. like, objectively is pretty big but i just feel like yeah it's a special place man yes it is um before we go another fun question which some people think is stressful (laughs) i've i've seen but to me i'm like this is a fun question so you get to build a four group bill 
including yourself. But I like to say a caveat because sometimes people are like, I just want to go and hang out and watch. Mm -hmm. So you can play. You don't have to. Um, Who are you choosing and why? And where are you playing? Sure. The The world is your oyster. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's at the Turf Club. Mm. The best venue in the Twin Cities. Represent. One of the best rooms in town, in my unbiased opinion. (laughs) And the bands would be Time Room, my other band, Birth Order. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Um, That's good for me. (laughs) <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just get Time to play all night. Order. <laughs> and uh, the band Pals. Yes. Uh, and the band um, Pop Star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, local bill. We love local music. Yeah. And we love our friends. Yeah. So. Aww. And we love the Turf Club. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's fun for me to hear when people will pick just like a full local band. Well, there's lots of great bands in town. It's true. It's you true. Know? Mm-hmm. All right. Before we head out, what's next? What's next for Time Room? What do you got going on? Yes. Tonight, October 4th, we are playing at Clash Drums, the new location, which is up in Columbia Heights at Doors at 6, I think. Show should start around 7 or 7.30. Um, we play in October 26th at the end of the month at the Eagles, Eagles 34, for the big Halloween show there. Organized by our friends in Din Din, another great local band. Um, we've got a few shows in November not yet announced. We're trying to get the new EP released soon, and then we're going to try to record again this winter. So staying busy. Yeah. Yeah. Got a packed schedule. Yes. Yes. Cool. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thanks so much for chatting. Thanks for coming in yes, and playing. Thank you for having us. Of course. It's been great. It's yeah. been fun. Yeah. It's been so fun. Um, before I go, I have to do some shameless self-plug because guess what? Everyone in the world, it's pledge right now, which means mm. that we are begging you for money (laughs) um so in case you haven't heard it enough today please go to radiok.org and hit that big blue donate button it's beckoning to you it's calling your name it's whispering in your ear and it's saying you want to support radio k because we're really awesome and in case that wasn't enough incentive you also can get a really cool t-shirt or keychain or bumper sticker the sky's the limit lots of cool stuff for real so if you love local music as we've just Mm -hmm. raved about who doesn't (laughs) hop on down radiok.org that's all i gotta say (laughs) 